We're here at the Kaki Captive Breeding Centre here in Twizel and this is our brand new brooder room. Everybody here loves working in this, this new brooder room. It's a joy to work in. So these are our youngest chicks. The youngest one is six days old and the oldest ones are nine days old. They're soft and fluffy but there's just legs and wings everywhere. <laughs> Every day we need to weigh them to check their progress. We're collecting so many eggs from the wild pairs now that we needed more capacity to rear the number of chicks that were hatching from those eggs. So the, the new brooder room has doubled our hand rearing capacity. So, so we used to have eight individual brooder units and we've now got 16. There are 35 chicks in our hand rearing unit at the moment and we have 115 in total throughout the aviaries and the brooder room. is a numbers game. We need to be able to harvest these eggs when they're vulnerable in the wild and captive rear them in Twizel. That's how we're building the population. These guys are about to go outside for the first time, so they all weigh over 20 grams. So it will be their first time out in the big wide world. As they get older, we need to start encouraging them to learn how to be wild birds, so they need to spend more and more time outside. We've got a 30 day old khaki chick here and we're about to give it its permanent bands. So we'll have these bands for life. Their legs aren't really going to get much fatter than they are now, but definitely much longer, uh, so they will grow into those bands. Yeah. So down the hill we have large pre-flight aviaries, so they'll move down there when they're about 35 days old. So all of these birds will be released in August, so we'll get them through their first winter um, on supplementary food here in the aviaries. So in the wild they'll be eating freshwater invertebrates, but here in captivity they eat a, an artificial diet um, of minced ox heart and a few other supplements. So the khaki that you've been seeing in our captive rearing facility down at the brooders there will be released into this area for the first time with predator control. So now they have a really good fighting chance. The funding from Global Wildlife Conservation has made a huge difference to the Kaki Recovery Program and into the future it means we'll be able to release a lot more birds. 